Assalamu alaikum and good day. In this video, I want to share my students' reflection from their PBL experience. Good morning. So recently, I received a message for PBL reflections by students. I will now answer six questions that has been sent. So question number one, briefly tell us your PBL experience. At the start, it was quite confusing and I don't really knew what to do, but as the time goes, the PBL will get more and more interesting. So question number two, what did you learn from your past PBL work? Uh, I study about heat energy, ventilation, and how to make mobile homes, which are homes where people live in containers, you know, shipping containers more comfortable to stay in in the aspect of temperature regulation because in Malaysia uh, it is actually quite hot but in overseas it actually has no problem because they have a you know cooler temperature so question number three how do you think your teacher managed your PBL so I think my teacher did a great job in giving me instructions ideas and feedback uh, I didn't had any ideas about uh, what to present at first but my teacher gave me some ideas on what should I research about that really gave me some help in doing my PBL so question number four what has the PBL uh, work changes you as a person this PBL activity has uh, really taught me how to become more creative innovative and has enhanced my understanding on what I have learned. So question number five, what benefit did you get from your past PBL experience? Uh, I got to learn uh, something new, you know, a uh, step outside my comfort zone and also PBL has taught me on how to think out of the box. But most importantly, it taught me to be patient. So question number six and the last question, uh, will you want to do PBL again in your next academic year? And my answer is, sure, why not? I mean, how else could a student get graded if it's not for his hard work? I mean, I think PBL should be done, but it should be done by, uh, subject by subject. Like, for example, March would be PBL for one particular subject, and the following month should be for other subjects, you know? That way, the student could concentrate on that subject to create a good quality outcome and that's all I have for now thank you very much my PBL project is rainwater harvesting I have participated in two PBL competitions both were district level and I managed to get silver and bronze medal for both competitions I learned a lot about how collected rainwater can be stored for direct and daily uses. Moreover, I also learned about advantages and disadvantages about rainwater harvesting. In my opinion, from what I experienced, my teachers have helped and guided me a lot throughout my preparation of completing this PBL project. They helped me by giving me ideas, advices, telling me what am I supposed to improve in my PBL project and gave me support in every competition that I participated in. By completing this PBL work, I've changed myself a lot, especially in managing my time for studying and completing this project. Besides, I also taught myself that it is important to finish something that you've started until the end. I get the chance to study more about science regarding to other participators' science project. Moreover, I also made a lot of new friends throughout my experience of joining this PBL competition. Yes, I would, as it is fun and I learned a lot in my last experience of joining this PBL competition.
one of my favorite PBL was back in Form 2. We had the opportunity to pick whatever teams we wanted. For that, my team and I picked Green Energy. Overall, we got 19.8 out of 20, which is good because it helped us to boost our end-year examination marks. What I learned from my past PBL work is that green energy is really important and helpful to the environment and animals. I remember putting a solar panel on our project because since our team was green energy, we wanted to reduce pollution. Having a solar panel is one of the ways to do so. Our teacher actually helped us a lot. She told us what are the things we needed to find and I'm very grateful for that. As proof, I actually still have the booklet with me here. This is the one she prepared. As you can see, her name is here, Madam Nick Marjan. My name is here, Ellen Paul. She prepared everything. All the things we needed to find, all the things we need to put inside the folio. And here are example, the examples. PBL work actually changed me to be a better leader and more responsible. I used to, you know, never take my work seriously, always trying to do my work. But when teacher Nick told us that it's going to help in our any examination, I actually took the work seriously. Uh, one of the benefits that I get from my post PBL experience is that I learned how to speak spontaneously and actually I got a B for science in my annual examination thanks to the PBL. I love PBL, it's a very interesting way to learn. That is all from me.